I want us to look at how a decimeter cubed is equal to a litre. Now in biology, we never use the word litre. Litres are reserved for people who do cooking, they're seen in recipes. We use in biology a decimeter cubed. I think the reason for that is because the L, which is the symbol for the litre, would easily get confused as a number in science and it's too important for that to happen. So we use decimeter cubed. So let's rationalise how a decimeter cubed is equal to a litre. First of all, let's have a look at this block here. This block measures this cube is 10 centimetres by 10 centimetres by 10 centimetres. So its volume is a thousand centimetres cubed. The cube denotes that this is a volume. We have to add that because if we just had a thousand centimetres, that would mean it was a linear distance. So now I can easily write that in a different way. Instead of saying a thousand centimetres, I can say a decimeter because decimeter means tenth of a metre and it's a tenth of a metre cubed. So that makes sense, I think, from there. So how do we say that a centimetre cubed is a milliliter? And why don't we have the number three superscript on the milliliter? Well, the fact that it says litre denotes it's a volumetric measurement. It's not a linear measurement as seen here. Milli means thousandth. So it's a thousandth of a litre. Well, we've already just said that in a litre, there are a thousand centimetres. So now I can say that this equals a thousand millilitres. We don't have the three on there because we don't have to show it's a volumetric measurement because the litre bit there tells us it's a three-dimensional measurement. And the takeaway message is that one centimetre cubed is equal to one milliliter. So now, when we're working on serial dilutions, we can interchange our units with ease, keep all the units the same, and we're not going to make a mistake. So let's just have a look at these three quantities here, and can we convert them into these units? We've got 0.1 decimeter cubed as milliliters, that would be 100. We've got 500 millilitres as a decimeter. That would be 0.5 decimeter cubed. And we've got 27 centimetres cubed as millilitres. It would be 27 millilitres. Same, same. I hope that makes sense and I look forward to seeing lots of unit conversions in your serial dilutions.